Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Now, uh, in this video, uh, I thought I'd review it uh, all. Uh, a fantastic uh, DVD uh, that I watched uh, the other night. Uh, a real good uh, modern uh, American haunted house movie. And that movie is called The House on Pine Street. Now, um, yeah, I say I watched this the other night and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a really good haunted house movie. It had me grip from start to finish. And to be honest, I actually thought this movie was even better than the Amityville Horror, the 1979 one, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, but if you're not familiar with this movie, I'll just read you the blurb at the back and I'll talk a little bit more about the movie and give you my thoughts on it as a whole, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, Jennifer, Jennifer and husband Luke moved back to her hometown in the hope of finding a calm environment for the arrival of their new baby. Luke has found the perfect house but Jennifer feels uneasy and soon begins to experience strange phenomena. It starts with objects moving when her back is turned and unexplained knocking sounds, but soon escalates into something far more sinister and threatening. Luke begins to question his wife's sanity. Is Jennifer losing her mind or is there a dark entity within the house that is all too real? So yeah, guys, if you haven't seen this uh, movie, The House on Pine Street, I highly recommend that you, you get yourself a copy. First became familiar with this movie uh, when I was browsing through YouTube, you know, the free movies and that. And I came across this movie called uh, The Haunted Door. Uh, so I thought, I'll check this out. It sounds good, yeah. So I watched it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. But then I subsequently found out that this is, this is its main title, The House on Pine Street. So when I watched it and that, um, I said to myself, I've got to add that to my collection because uh, it's got a good rewatchability factor. I like the, <coughs> excuse me, I like the characters. I like the setting, the creepy house and that. Uh, and uh, yeah, generally all around, it was a really good haunted house story, yeah. Not many people know about this movie, so um, yeah, so as I say, if you like a good supernatural, modern, American, uh, you know, American supernatural uh, horror, I highly recommend this one, The House on Pine Street, yeah. It was made in 2015, and um, yeah, it stars uh, Emily Goss, Emily Goss, uh, Emily Goss, Taylor Bottles, Kathy Barnes, Jim Coring, Natalie Pellegrin, and Tisha Swartz and Whistle. Um, it was um, so it's sort of like yeah, it was, it was produced by Natalie Jones, Aaron Keeling, and Austin Keeling, and it was it's based on a script written by Natalie Jones, Aaron Keeling, and Austin Keeling, and it was directed by Aaron Keeling and Austin Keeling. Yeah, it runs to a length of um, one hundred and eight minutes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so as I say, if you like a good haunted house movie, I highly recommend you get yourself a copy of this, The House on Pine Street. This comes with a great slipcover card, a uh, great slipcover, this edition. And uh, there's a couple of photos on the back there, guys, of the uh, the main protagonist. There's the husband there who's very, very sceptical about what his wife's experiencing in the house and that, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's one particular scene that is reminiscent of the entity where this, uh, uh, well, apparent spirit that's uh, haunting this house, it picks the girl up and it throws her around and that, you know, and, oh, yeah, it's really violent and that, yeah. And then, like, all the things that happen, there's one partic another particularly creepy scene where she's in the bath and that, you know, and she's, she's sort of like, she's, she's lux luxuriating, luxuriating in the bath and she this figure comes behind her and starts sort of, like, you know, uh, massaging her and she thinks it's her husband's. But it turns out that it's one of the um, entities of the house, yeah. Oh, yeah, all sorts of creepy things in this, guys, yeah. I won't give away too much of, too much of the story uh, in case you haven't seen it. I want to rent it or buy it for yourself. But this is one of the best haunted house movies I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, and I guarantee, uh, if you like your haunted house movies, where that sort of like get straight into it, get straight into the story. It's got a good, solid plot, good characters. And a, a, a creepy ambience. I think you will enjoy this one, The House on Pine Street. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I got this for a song on eBay. It was only just over four quid. A brand new seal and that. Yeah. So, this is definitely, as I say, this is definitely staying in my collection. Um, it's very, very rare when I watch a YouTube video, a free horror movie or whatever. It's very, very rare that I like it that much. I decide to buy the actual movie. But, this is one of the pleased exception, exceptions, guys, yeah. So if you want to check it out first on YouTube, just type in Haunted Door and you'll get the whole movie. And then, of course, this is the official title, The House on Pine Street. 
So um, if, like me, you enjoy the video, you know, the free video, you might want to buy the DVD. So I suggest you go on eBay and you'll get it there, uh, yeah, for just over four quid. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, really good haunted house movie. It's got a great atmosphere and bucket loads. And, uh, you know, it's got that sort of, like, little ambiguity about it. I mean, you don't really know really what's going on. I mean, the wife's experiencing all these strange things and that. The door's banging in the house and that, you know, slamming shut. And uh, one or two mysterious things she sees and that, you know, yeah. Um, one particular scene, a delivery, a, a delivery guy comes to the house and uh, next minute he's vanished, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a real creepy, foreboding atmosphere, this one, yeah. Yeah, so if you like a good haunted house movie, uh, a modern haunted house movie, I highly recommend that you get, get yourself a copy of The House on Pine Street or you watch it on YouTube under the title Haunted Door, yeah. Yeah, so on to a rating now. I definitely give this, no hesitation, a full 10 out of 10. It's got thrills galore. The characters are good, good solid storyline, uh, the creepy house, you know, it's quite unsettling in, in parts. Uh, and then you've got the you've got the, the conflict between the husband who's very, very skeptical. He thinks his wife's going a bit doolally because she says she's been experiencing all these things in the house. And then of course you've got the main his wife, the main the main female protagonist and that, and you're seeing through her eyes everything what she experiences and how oh yeah, it's a real creepy movie, this guy's yeah, one of the best haunted house movies I've seen in a long, long time. That is the house on Pine Street. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the house on Pine Street. Uh, have you seen this movie by the way? Let me know what you, you let me know your thoughts on it. You know, I'd be very interested to hear what your thoughts of it. I loved it. Yeah, hence is why I've added it to my collection of haunted house movies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment, and it uh, all going well. I shall talk to you all again very soon. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, if you enjoyed uh, watching this video, uh, you might be interested to know that um, as well as uh, doing a uh, horror movie, you know, horror movie uh, reviews, I've written uh, quite a few uh, horror and supernatural titles myself. Um, so this is just an example, you know, of what I've written. They were the two volumes of my horror story series. Um, I've written True Ghost Story series, three books on the Hammer Horror Studios, Werewolf Novella, Werewolf Nightmare, and finally, my largest book to date is 200 True Ghost Stories. So, um, you know, if, as I say, if you enjoyed watching this video and you'd like to uh, find out more about my life and, you know, me uh, life as an author and that, and, uh, you know, review it, you know, um, just um, uh, you can go along to my website at www, uh, www.alantona.com um, and you can read uh, more about, like, you know, me life as an author and that and why I love the genre so much. Um, and you can check out all my book titles because they're all listed there on my website. I also have I also have an Amazon author page as well you might like to check out. Um, so, yeah. So, as I say, um, yeah, there you go. Okay, guys. Take care.